A terrifying scene on Cape Cod, a young woman screaming to get people out of the ocean as a shark eats a seal very close to the shoreline. That scare shut down Race Point Beach in Provincetown. Good evening and thank you for joining us for this abbreviated version of the WBZ News at 11. I'm David Wade. And I'm Paula Eben. This encounter came, of course, a day after a shark bit a man swimming in Truro. Julie McDonald is on Cape Cod tonight where concerns over the sharks are growing. A dramatic couple of days, perhaps even disappointing for families and friends vacationing here for the week. Some of these scenic beaches closed to swimming after some way too close for comfort shark sightings. Right here. <gasps> oh my God, I got it on video. On the water. Just one day after a swimmer in Truro was attacked by a shark, beachgoers in nearby Provincetown got quite the show at Race Point Beach. The beach was closed for one hour after the bloody display. The shark apparently snacking on a seal. All you see is the fin, and you see him flop out of the water, and it was probably the biggest splash I've ever seen. But on Wednesday, it was 61-year-old William Litton who suffered the scare of his life. All of a sudden, I looked over, I seen the guy with blood around him yelling for help. Before a small crowd of Good Samaritans raised him up the dune, two men ran in the water to help. He took one hand, I took the other hand, we pulled him out to the shore. The New York man was about 30 yards off Long Nook Beach when he became the first shark attack victim in Massachusetts since 2012. You know, August, September, these are peak months for white sharks. The white sharks are, are dynamic in terms of their movements up and down the Cape. They're coming in, they're coming, they're going out. You know, people need to be vigilant. So Race Point Beach opened back up within an hour, but here at Long Nook, no swimming at least through Friday. In Truro, Julie McDonald, WBZ News.